YouTube, Stoopy520 here. A little comparison video on the CZ P01 and the CZ75D Compact PCR. So last week I did a range report on the PCR. Put 150 rounds plus uh, six hollow points. So for 156 rounds, it ran great. Uh, and my CZ uh, has well over 600 plus rounds. I'm thinking 650-ish. Um, but I, I was at the range again. And I wanted to compare the two because they're so similar but yet different. I put another 50 and another 100. Bringing that up to 256 and that up to 650 plus. Uh, both ran great. No issues. Rejection patterns were good. Uh, no failures to extract, eject. No jams, no issues at all. Fed uh, the... What did I have? I had some Federal 115 grain, 9 millimeter. And I think I had uh, some Cellular and Balat SNV. Might have been 120, I think it was 124 grain, 9 millimeter. So let's see. I in the either the unboxing or the range report, I said, or both, I said I was getting new grips. And I did get new grips. <laughs> These are new grips. Uh, the new grips I bought for the PCR, I ended up putting on the P01. And the grips that were on the P01, I put on the PCR. I like the color better on the, the new Cool Hand grips. These are a G10 uh, Slim. Uh, thin, I think it's on the website, it says Thin. But uh, that's the way I like it. Uh, nice ergonomics, great feel, nice textures. Uh, these, these grips were on the P01, but I switched them out. I like the color better versus that gray. I don't know if that's a gunmetal, a graphite. I'm not sure what color it's called, but they're the same style grip. Just one's aluminum and one's G10 composite material. Uh, I, I like that color. Really nice. A great feel in the hand. Both exactly the same grips wise. Uh, and ergonomically, these are the same ergonomics. Let's see. What else we got different? Uh, slide serrations. You can see on the front slide serrations, they're angled. But on the back, the, P0, uh, the P01 are straight up and down versus on the PCR, they're angled to mimic the front, even though they're different on this one. Uh, slide serrations on the top for anti-glare. The PCR has a loaded chamber indicator. You put one in, uh, that little pin is up. You can definitely feel it. I don't know if you're going to see it at night, but you definitely know there's a round in the chamber if you're feeling it. You should know anyway. If you're handling the gun, you should know if it's safe or if it's loaded or not. Uh, sights. Sight radius is exactly the same. You can see there, back to back. They're exactly the same, but the sights on the PCR are a little different. I think because they're supposed to be a snag free, and this was the service pistol, or is the service pistol? I don't know if it still is, but for the police, in the poli uh, police Czech Republic, PCR, that's what it's for. Service pistol for the police in the Czech Republic. <clears throat> um, but if you look from the back, it's the exact same sight. See that? It's just the PCR has the sloped front for a snag free design, I guess, for holstering for the police in the Czech Republic. Same uh, sight radius, like I said. Uh, slide stop, slide catch, slide release on the PCR. It's smaller and the steps in there, the grippy part, uh, it's a little more, I don't know, it's got like a four or five line little step to it. And on the P01, it's a longer one. 
but it's only got like three steps and it's a little beefier feels like it's a little beefier Oop. but they both work fine no problems the cockers are the same uh what else we got i think the triggers are comparatively the, the same except for the double on the pcr because this is 2015 uh, the p01 was 20 2005 so 10 year difference and so 19 versus 9 19 years old 9 years old i think maybe just the fact that I don't think this gun had a lot of rounds to it, so I think it's a little bit heavier on the double, maybe by a half a pound, a two, a pound maybe, but uh, triggers are the same comparatively. Really nice at the range, great, great accuracy is there. I mean, I am doing my normal three inch groups, two and a half, three inch groups right off the bullseye, ten yards. I mean, you know. For me, that's good. If I'm doing, if any pistol I pick up and I'm doing the same thing all the time, then it's the gun's accurate. It's just me because I push. I end up dropping it off a little. I push when I pull that trigger. I cannot. I cannot stop doing that. No matter how much I train that, I, st I have a hard time to not pull or push. I mean. <laughs> So any of that, both fantastic pistols make a great combination. Bop, 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 bop. I don't know if I could do that at the range. They might not let me. They might kick me out. So what are your thoughts? New grips. Which one do you like better? I like the blue and the black. These are blue, black. Same on the Cool Hand website. I got these off eBay. But uh, the description is... Um, Blue, black. There's different colors, and they were only twenty six bucks. Twenty six bucks shipped. No, t no, no shipping. Twenty six bucks. I think I paid more on eBay. I think these were like thirty bucks. <laughs> but right off the Cool Hand website. Uh, yeah, real nice. I like the black, blue versus the gray. I said that. Metallic, uh, gunmetal, graphite. I don't know what color is that. You know? Do you know? I don't. But yep, yeah, really nice. Definitely going to put more rounds. Definitely going to put more rounds. Definitely keepers. I've seen a lot of guys doing uh, even newer videos, like within a year or so or, or less. A lot of videos on the PCR and, uh, and even on the P01 and comparison videos of the two. So, I don't know. Maybe the uh, they're getting a little more popular. PCR for a carry gun, being that it's a hammer fired double single action. Uh, I don't know. I don't like necessarily holstering a striker fired pistol and then a shirt tail get caught on that and pop, there goes your junk, especially if you're uh, uh, appendix, strong side carry, your shirt tail, shirt tail can get caught. But on a hammer fire pistol, first that first trigger pull is a double, so it's heavy, man. You really gotta want to do that when you're holstering a hammer fire. Put your finger on the your thumb on the on the hammer, and then you're gonna know if your shirt tail gets caught in that thing, you're not gonna pull it. It's just not gonna happen. So safety that's one of the reasons why I like double action, double single action, hammer fire because I can. Have that extra level of safety and uh yeah it's just a matter of training you got to train for that first pull double action and then the rest are all single action nice light trigger pulls on the single action just like a striker fire pistol just got to get past that first double action trigger pull heavy 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 that's probably 10 10 to 12 pounds right there maybe not so much on this one like i said because of the break-in that factor 19 years old Nine years old. But, yeah. What are your thoughts? Like, comment, and subscribe. Or don't. Thanks, YouTube. Have a great day.